What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna show you exactly how much I got paid in dividends for the month of March. I'm gonna show you every dividend stock that paid me for the month of March. I'm gonna explain exactly how I track all of my dividend income in one simple spreadsheet. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly which dividend stock picks I'm gonna be buying next. Hi guys, my name is Dennis and in this channel I talk about personal finance as well as my continuous journey to financial freedom. So my ultimate goal with starting my dividend portfolio is to create enough passive income in the form of dividends so that I never run out for the rest of my life. And I want to do all of this by the time I hit 40, which means I have around 11 years left to contribute as much as I can into my portfolio and to grow this channel right over here. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. So for my type of investing, I chose something called DGI, which means dividend growth investing. DGI is a habit of buying blue chip dividend paying stocks over a long period of time. This is very cool for for me because blue chip dividend paying companies increase their dividends over time while not sacrificing the growth of their stock to begin with. This means that these stocks are going to go up in value while at the same time paying me dividends which is the best of both worlds. Plus on top of that since I'm planning on reinvesting every single dividend back into my portfolio the compound interest will take over and grow my dividends even faster over time. Now normally with dividend growth investing I usually look at three different things before investing into any company. I look at the dividend payout of this company I look at the dividend increases of this company and I look at the share price growth over time now since most of the dividend paying companies that I invest into are blue chip dividend paying companies they usually pay out their dividends quarterly which means that I see a higher amount of dividends in the months of March June September and December that's exactly why last quarterly month of December I saw the highest amount of dividend earnings that I've ever seen in my portfolio you guys can check out this video right here but today I'm talking about 2024's first quarter quarterly month which is March and I'm going to be expecting to see a larger amount of dividends this month in comparison to January and February. Now quarterly months are also when I see most of my ETF holdings pay out their dividends and since I'm starting to diversify more into ETFs every single month I should start seeing a higher amount of dividends every single quarter from now on. So with all that being said let's get straight into my March earnings to show you guys exactly how much I made. Now I have my investing portfolio in Robinhood and to see exactly how much you made for the month all you're gonna have to do is log into your Robinhood app, go on to the little person icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen, tap the menu on the top left hand side of the screen, and then go to reports and statements. After that, you click on your individual statements and you click on the most recent statements. For me, it was March, so I'm gonna click on that. And on the first page, when you zoom all the way in under income and expense summary, it says that I got paid a total of $59.78 for the month of March. But if you wanna see exactly which company paid you and exactly how much they paid you, you're gonna have to go back into the main menu and instead of reports and statements, you're gonna click on history. And then on the top, you're gonna narrow it down to only dividends since that's what we're looking for. And as soon as I click on that and I scroll all the way to the bottom to the first company that paid me in March, it looks like a total of 21 companies paid me for the month of March. And it looks like the first company that paid me for March was actually Pfizer and they paid me a total of $6.34 of dividends. And then I got two payments of Ford with one being $3.36 and the other one being $4.03. Now, I don't know exactly why I got two payments from Ford, but when I click on each one of them individually, it looks like I got 15 cents per share in one of the payments and I got 18 cents per share in the other payment. So if you guys know exactly why I got paid twice, let me know in the comments below. Now, the next company that paid me was Johnson & Johnson. They paid me a total of $3.03. .03. Then we have XOM, also known as ExxonMobil, and they paid me a total of $1.37. And we have IBM, they paid me $2.35. We have Chevron, they paid me $1.85. We have AGNC, which is a company that I'm going to be selling soon, and they pay me a total of $1.20. And then we have one of my favorite Dividend King companies, which is 3M, and they pay me a total of $6.86. Then I have International Paper, they pay me a total of $0.94. Cents. Then I have O Realty Income, they pay me a total of $2.36. I have Stag and Dash Trail, they pay me $0.30. Cents. Duke Energy, 119. We have Prospect Capital, they pay me $3. Dominion Energy, they pay me $1.44. And then here are the ETFs that I mentioned before. We have VYM, they pay me a total of $3.94. PEY, they paid me a total of $2.17. SPHD, which is one of my favorite ETFs to own, they pay me $2.69. We have SCHD, they pay me a total of $4.22. 
VTI, which tracks the whole United States overall, and they pay me a total of $2.73. Then we have VOO, which is the S&P 500. They pay me a total of $2.96. And the last company that we have paying me is British Petroleum, and they pay me a total of $1.43. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you can help this video spread to more people. Thank you. Now, the cool thing about dividend investing in Robinhood specifically is that I can automatically reinvest my dividends back into those same companies that paid them out. This is called Drip and it's available in Robinhood. I don't know if you guys saw, I have a little reinvested word right next to most of the companies that I just listed right now. And this means that I chose this specific company to reinvest back into itself automatically without me having to lift a finger. For example, I'm gonna click on the first company that paid me for March, which is Pfizer. And they paid me a total of $6.34. And it looks like they reinvested back that $6.34 back into Pfizer and it bought me a total of 0.24 shares of that company for that price at the time. And if I want to edit which company I want reinvested back into itself, there's a button all the way on the bottom. It says edit dividend reinvestments. I click on that and then I see every single company that I own and every single company that I chose to reinvest back into itself. So if you guys are interested in that, check that out. Now, since I'm a finance nerd, I like to organize all of my finances. And when I started investing, I created a dividend tracker spreadsheet around 2021 where I can track all of my progress over the years to see exactly how much dividends I'm earning. And as you can see right over here in my spreadsheet, my dividend income actually decreased for the month of March by around $18 when comparing it to last year's March. Now, usually I would have been worried about a drop like that in my dividends since I never had that happen to me before, but I actually know exactly why that happened to begin with, so it didn't really worry me as much and to make a long story short I pretty much sold one of my biggest holdings last year in August and they paid me around $22 every single quarter and the fact that I'm only seeing an $18 drop instead of a $22 drop just means that my dividends actually increased by $4 from March to March. Plus I ended up reinvesting all of the money from that sell back into my portfolio. So that dividend income is actually gonna be spread out throughout my portfolio overall. By the way, if you're not tracking your dividends on a monthly basis and you wanna use my template, I left the link below in the video description. Well, all you have to do is press file, make a copy and name it whatever you wanna name it so that you can start tracking your dividends. Now I told myself that I'm gonna be investing at least $100 on video every single month. And that's exactly what I'm planning on doing right now. So once I log into my Robinhood portfolio, I actually noticed that I'm kind of lacking in ETF holdings. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be spending my money in right now. So the first thing that I wanna buy is actually VOO and VTI because these are the smartest options to buy since I'm tracking the United States overall and they're not likely to go down. So I'm gonna actually buy $25 worth of VOO and I'm gonna be buying $25 of VTI. The next ETF I wanna buy is actually SPHD, which tracks the high dividend, low volatility stocks of the S&P 500. And I'm gonna buy $20 of this ETF right now. And I'm gonna buy $20 worth of QQQ ETF, which tracks mostly technology companies overall. So I'm gonna buy $20 of that right now. Now with the $10 I have left for the month, I can't help but buying more realty income because this is the number one stock that's in my mind right now. So I'm gonna buy $10 of that. And I wanna quickly mention that the reason I'm actually buying more ETFs into my portfolio is because I consider ETFs to be the most diversified stocks that I can be buying into. All of the ETFs that you saw in my portfolio right now are actually well diversified into all 12 sectors of the market without me having to buy individual stocks and worry about them going up and down in value. Now I understand that becoming a dividend investor seems like it's a very crazy task with so many things to know and consider. But investing doesn't always have to be as complicated as you make it to be because you can even start investing with as little as $100 like you saw me doing right now. And that's exactly why I made this video right over here where I talk about how simple it could be to start investing with as little as $100. Also, let me know in the comments below if you want me to go into a deeper dive into my Robinhood portfolio. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like always, I just want you to remember that no matter what, everything is figureoutable.